So I wanted to show you guys one of the more interesting features, or at least something that I think is interesting with the uh, new update to Logos. And that has to do with the searching. And what Logos is trying to do is integrate some of the AI features that are out there and do it in a way that's uh, responsible and ethical and all that and trying to limit the search capabilities and the, the functionality of AI to your Logos library. So it's not searching the, you know, the World Wide Web and just getting all kinds of crazy information. But So let me show you some of the things that I think are interesting right now. So here we've got our search panel open. We've got all our books, all text passages. This is normally where we would go and we type in something like um, City of Ephesus. And this is going to look for that phrase, City of Ephesus. Where is that exact phrase found in all of my resources? And it'll give me my resources. You, you guys know all this stuff. You click on it, you open it up. However, if you go over here and change from precise to smart, and you type in City of Ephesus, it does something a little different. It's not looking for that exact phrase necessarily. It's looking for anything in your library that would be directly relevant to what this Logos AI believes you're looking for. And so you've got all these resources down here, uh, City of Ephesus, right? I mean, clearly it's going to look for that, but it's trying to give you the most relevant. And so you can click on this, it'll open it up, highlight it, all that good stuff. You can click Summarize. For this resource and what it will do is it will summarize the information in there I think that's pretty neat so in the ESV study Bible here's an AI driven um, summary of that material so it's looking at the ESV study Bible and then it's summarizing the material this is great because you may or may not want to even open this up you know I'm looking at this yes I could open this up and I could read through to see if it's relevant but I could just as easily click summarize and it'll summarize the information in that resource on this and I can look and see if it's even relevant to what I'm looking at. Now most of these are going to be pretty much the same because it's talking about the city of Ephesus. It's just an example. You can clear the summaries. But up here at the top is what I'm actually most excited about. This is giving you a synopsis it's summarizing from a number of different resources in your library information about whatever you've typed in up here so it's not just taking the one resource and, and summarizing that resource but it's kind of scouring your resources and it's putting together a footnoted very interesting you can see these footnotes here they're all highlighted down to these resources and it's giving you a summary of all this information and where to find it this I think is pretty amazing kind of stuff you can copy it over here you put it in your notes file and print it out you can click on these it'll open up to the resources but it's just I think this is pretty amazing personally this is great but not only will it do it for all your books so all your books here but you can actually limit it so let's say I only want to do uh, a search on my background material. So I've created collections. So I have background books, background commentaries, background dictionaries, Greco Roman background. Let me try this one. So it's only going to search those books that are Greco Roman background. And I'll type in here, let's do the same thing. Um, let's do City of Ephesus. And I don't even need to put the uh, city of Ephesus in quotes. It knows basically what I'm looking for. So here again, from my library, all these various sources that's giving me Greco-Roman kind of material. And then up here, it's a summary, but it's going to be different information up here. It's going to be drawing from different resources. So this is great. Um, you can limit your search and it'll give you summaries. I just think this is one of the neatest things. It's by far at this point the best thing that they've come out with, in my opinion, on uh, using this AI stuff. 
Let me just try another one. Some of us are reading some of C.S. Lewis's books. I have a C.S. Lewis collection. And so I'll type in here and uh, here, I'll do this. I'll just type in here, who is Ransom? You know Ransom is one of the characters in the work Out of the Silent Planet. So let's see what this does. I'm going to look at this synopsis here. So look at that. Ransom appears to be a character in a fictional work, likely a science fiction of fantasy novel, uh, sorry, or fantasy novel. In one of the articles, he is described as encountering a creature called Sorn on a planet named Malacandra. There you go. You got the reference to, and I have the work Out of the Silent Planet in here, but n notice it's drawing from Out of the Silent Planet, Perilandra, that hideous strength, and then even some other works here, C.S. Lewis, Words to Live By, and then the Collected Letters. So you can look up some of these other references here and find them. Anyways, I just wanted to kind of present this to you guys. If you're looking at the new Logos uh, updating or whatnot, this is the probably the most significant feature at the moment. I think this one, for me, it's worth it, but... Uh, just so you guys have a clue as to what's going on with this.